All right, I'm back. Let me show you some stuff that I got. I'm gonna throw it all over here for you to see because it's in the shade. All right, I got one spool of rope, my Kool-Aid, one bottle of water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, one, eight, nine. Nine bottles of uh, nine cans. One, two, three, four, five plastic jugs. One bottle and two towels and one plastic cup. And remember, trash is everywhere. Now, I'm going to show you how I make these crawfish traps. <laughs> You might need your knife. So let's get that out. All right, one rusty ass knife that needs to be clean. Basically, you want to open this up as much as you can. Try not to break the little tabs, and don't use your your blade. Use the back of your of your knife. Just as well. And what you want to do is just fold that in. So, now that's a big crawfish. Make sure your tab is still good. Open your can as much as you can. And poke holes in. Now, poking holes in it will help it sink better. Even though this thing got 22s all in it. Now, watch what I did. To make the crawfish trap, just open that tab, take the back of your knife, go down there, and down on the other side, and fold it down. Basically, you're just trying to open that thing up as much as you can. Now, you don't have to. You can leave it like it is. You might get a little smaller crawfish. A couple beer cans. Those are pretty big for a nice crawfish, but you want to get a little bigger one, you gotta open it up. Remember, use the back side of your blade, not your blade. Push that tab down. There you go. All right. You don't want to push it towards you because the, the crawfish might say, well, that's hurt. So he might say, I'm not going in there because that thing hurts. I'm going to leave a couple like it is. Let's see if I can catch a couple minnows. Maybe. Sometimes doing this, it, just, it does store the can sometimes. You can always put it in the water, fill it up, and cast it out some. That's how you make the crawfish trap. Now, what you want to do, depends on where you're putting these, you can make a trot line. Tie a can, tie a can, tie a can, and you keep your rope. Or you can make individually one and put one here, put one there, put one there. So what you want to do is go start, go one, Two, that's 10 feet. That's 10 feet of rope. You, if you think you need to go further out in the water, make it shorter, make it five feet. Go one, that's five feet. Depends on where you want it and where you want to put it. See, that's all I'm doing is tying that right there. And that's it. There we go. One crawfish trap. 
Now I'm gonna make a trot line. So to make the trot line, just go through a can. Now if you want to keep this rope, you want to, you know, after you finish using these cans, you want to keep it. That's all you have to do. Do a loop. <laughs> it's been a while. I could just make a slip knot too. So, I keep it right where I want it. Working with gloves is not easy either. You can make a little slip knot, put a little twig there if you want, tie it up tight, and voila. And all you need is a little bit twig. Voila, it's not going nowhere. When you want your string back, just pop that little slip knot. Pull the cans out off your rope. Oh shit, I forgot to put that again. Oh, so basically you have to bring it all the way to the end where you want to make the one. I'm going to put two on this one, so we'll make a, a 10 foot rope. Let's put three on here. So let's go ahead and grab this one. You can always take the slip knot and go over the little... Excuse me! Mm, funny. Nope, oh, I need a twig. <laughs> or any little bitty twig will do. Voila. Tighten it up. It's not going nowhere. I'm going to go ahead and put one more on this one. Now I'm not going to do too many, but you get the point. Now I got my little catfish trout line for, for, for crawfish. And I got one right here for crawfish. Alright, that's what I mean. Made a little crawfish trout line. And one individual. So, the rest of the cans, I'm going to show you a little idea. Now, what you want to do is take your knife. If you got a candle, if you brought some candles with you, take the back of your knife, stick it in, and go backwards with your knife. Make sure you go backwards, not forward. Don't use your blade. Come down so you can see. Go backwards. Then go backwards on the top, while cutting yourself. Now, you can put a candle in there, and it'll be a reflector for your candle. So just put your little candle in there, set it there, and you have a reflector. And it will get hot too, so it might keep you warm if you're doing winter time. Alright, um, you can also use the can as a reflector, like the, the, the aluminum foil. Thing. It's going. All right, now since I'm here, we'll go ahead and make the wick. But we need water. Nice piece of towel. Let's go ahead and get. Let's make the wick. To make the wick, you can bring your own towel. You can probably can use toilet paper. I never tried toilet paper. All right, I'm gonna show you how to make the wick. Since the jar is so small, there's a bunch of ways you can make the wick. Alright, this is for the jar. And this, I can use the whole thing, but 
I'm gonna go ahead and cut a piece. All right. Now, make sure these are clean. If not, go wash them. And this is what you're gonna do. This is not a purifier now. This is just to get the, the muck out your uh, dirty water out your, the dirty water out. See this? Look how dirty that thing is. All right, now we need to get one of these ready. Oh, I'm going to show you how to make a crawfish trap right now with one of these, a two liter, a jug. Do is cut that top off, damn it, <laughs> and place it in reverse, just like that. And you make your crawfish trap. Voila. This one's messed up. Damn it. See this? It can be the same way with the cans. Poke a hole right here, tie a rope around this, and it's big enough for the crawfish. Poke a holes in it and throw that in the water. That could be also used as a crawfish trap. Now, I messed up my perfect. Well, this is how you make another crawfish trap if you can't find aluminum cans. You could use the, the plastic. Throw your bait down there. Uh, throw it in the water, put a hole here where your rope goes, and throw that in the water. That's how you can crawfish fish with the plastic. Now, I'm going to see if I can get some, 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 um, some, um, bait. You're like, how you going to do that? Well, I need a machete. I need a machete. I got one. Come on. Come with me. Lower you down. This will be easy carry. All right, this how you get worms. Oh man, I just put a dent in my car. Son of a bitch. All right, we need really we need something with uh like uh. A big ass uh, foul. We need a big foul. We can't find a foul. We got a machete. Show you how to get some worms if you find the right place. Here's a light damp spot down here. Worms like that damp area. You gotta go in that boggy area. When it's kind of wet, but worms love to play in the mud. This is clay up here. Much worms don't go playing in clay. All right. I'll go ahead and turn you off until I get to the area. 